When looking for information on the Internet, there are searches and there are advanced searches. Searches give you results. Advanced searches give you the results you want. They do this by filtering out irrelevant results and showing you only relevant ones. A simple rule of thumb, if you're not finding relevant results on your first page, you may need to use an advanced search. Get the results you want lose the results you don't. The good news is that nearly all search engines do advanced searches. The bad news is that they all do them differently. While many of the search tools are similar, they may use different expressions, different ways of doing the same thing, and different options for controlling your searches. But SearchZooka makes it easy. With SearchZooka, you create one advanced search and use it on several search engines. You can also save your searches for future use and clone new searches from existing ones. With SearchZooka, you never type the same search twice. This video will introduce you to the features of SearchZooka and soon you'll be conducting more precise searches and spending less time doing them. Creating a search with SearchZooka is as easy as filling out a simple form. If you've done advanced searches in the past, then the SearchZooka form will look familiar to you. If you haven't done an advanced search before, let's take a quick look at the fields. The All Words field is exactly the same information you would use if you were doing a basic search. When you go to Google or Yahoo and type in a basic search, you're telling the search engine to show you results that contain all the words you've entered. The All Words field on SearchZooka is exactly the same thing. When you have an exact phrase you want to look for, simply type your phrase in the exact phrase field. It's the same as putting a search phrase in quotes on most of the major search engines. If you have several different words and you want to find results with any or all of those words included, simply type your words into the boxes labeled one or more of. This is the same as using an OR statement on most of the major search engines. If you have words you want to leave out of your search, type them into the exclude box. This is the same as putting a minus sign in front of a word on most of the major search engines and it will ensure that your search does not include the words you want to leave out. Most of the time, search engines will prioritize their results by relevance and if you leave these buttons blank, that's how your searches will be created by SearchZooka. But if you want to see the newest results first, click the newest first button and your results will be prioritized by date by those search engines that support this feature. If you have a specific specific date range of results you want to see, you can indicate the start and end dates for your results here. If you leave this section alone, SearchZooka will just show you all the results regardless of date. Many search engines let you filter out adult content by selecting a safe search option. If you don't click either of these buttons, SearchZooka will automatically assume that you want safe search turned on, but you can click unfiltered to turn off the safe search feature. If you're looking for results in a specific language, you can indicate so with the language drop-down menu. Please note that there's a lot of variation among search engines with regard to the languages they support. So if one of the engines does not support the language you've selected, the results for that engine will be given to you without regard to language. You can also limit the types of websites in your results. If you leave this section alone, your searches will yield results for all types of websites. There are three ways you can limit the types of websites that show up in your results. If you're only interested in seeing results for a specific website, you can enter the web address for that site and click the button next to the address you've entered. Another option is to limit the top-level domain. Top-level domains are letters that appear at the end of a website address like .com, .net, and .edu. To limit your results to a specific top-level domain, select the one you want and click the button next to the top-level domain you selected. If you are looking for websites in a specific country, you can choose a country-specific top-level domain from the list of countries and click the button next to the country you've selected. Please note, many websites use .com or other domains instead of their country's top-level domain. So if you're looking for websites in the United States, you should be aware that selecting United States from this list will limit your results to addresses that end in .us. There is some variation among search engines with regard to limiting results by type of site. For search engines that do not support these restrictions, your searches will show results without regard to these restrictions. Many search engines allow you to specify whether your search term should appear in the page title or web address of the pages you're looking for. If you only want to see results that meet these criteria, you can indicate so by clicking the appropriate buttons. Otherwise, your search results will be shown to you regardless of where your search terms appear in the page. If you're looking for spreadsheets, Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, or other specific types of files, you can enter the file extension in the file type box. The file extension is the code that appears at the end of a file name after the period Word documents are DOC, Excel spreadsheets are XLS. Please note that not all search engines support file type searches. For those engines that do not 
support this option, you'll see results without regard to file type. Once you've created your search and clicked the Create button, your searches are ready to launch. Conducting a search is now just a simple matter of clicking the name of the engine you want to use. Searches are then launched in new windows, so you can always go back and try a different engine if you're not satisfied with the results from the first. In addition to letting you use the same search across multiple search engines, SearchZooka offers a number of other features which are designed to help you search more efficiently. One of the main benefits of SearchZooka is that it can save your advanced searches for future use. This is particularly helpful if you like to keep track of certain information on an ongoing basis and find yourself doing periodic date ordered searches on the same subjects to make sure you're aware of the latest information about these topics. Additionally, you can customize the appearance of your searches and display them in collapsed lists. When you collapse your list, the search engine buttons remain visible, so you can launch searches without expanding your saved search profiles. When you return to SearchZooka at a later time, your list will be waiting for you, ready to use. Another important feature of SearchZooka is that it allows you to clone new searches from existing ones. This is particularly useful if you are conducting extensive advanced searches on a topic and you want to try several variations of your search. SearchZooka allows you to keep all your variations in one place. This means you can use them again in the future or just make sure that you're not repeating the same searches. We'll now explore some of the management features that will help keep your searching as organized as possible. At the top of each search profile is a set of controls for customizing how you your searches are displayed. We'll take a look at them from left to right. The first icon is used for collapsing or expanding your search profile. You can collapse and expand each search profile individually, or you can control the entire list at once by using the icons that appear at the top of the page. When you create a new search, the default title that appears in your search profile consists of the search terms you've selected. You can customize the title by clicking the Rename icon. This will not affect how your search is conducted, but it allows you to create your own titles for searches you may rely on. On frequently. If you want to add a note to your search profile, click the Notate button that appears next. Next to the Notate icon are the color buttons, which you can use to change the display colors for your searches. These are especially useful if you want to highlight certain searches on your list when you collapse the profiles. The Edit button allows you to change the search terms you're using. Next to it is the Clone button. This is very similar to the Edit button with one important difference. Instead of changing the existing search profile, it makes a new copy. This is especially helpful if you want to create several variations of the same search. Instead of typing all the search terms into a new profile, you can make a cloned copy and change just a few terms in the search. As you might have guessed, the Delete button eliminates your search from the list. Most of the icons and buttons on the SearchZooka site have pop-up help tips. When you place your mouse over an icon, a brief explanation of the icon's function will appear. You can turn this pop-up functionality on or off by clicking the question mark icon. As your list of saved searches gets longer, you may wish to organize your searches into folders. This is easy to do. On the right side of each search profile, you'll see a list of available folders. To move your search into a folder, simply click the name of the folder. Let's create a new folder by clicking the New Folder button. After you've created one or more folders, you'll see two changes to the page. At the top of the page is your folder directory. You can jump between folders by clicking the buttons that appear here. On the right side of each search profile, you'll also see a list of folders. When you click on these buttons, it will move your search profile to the folder you've selected. With the exception of the main page, folders are deleted when they become empty. So if you delete all the searches in a folder, or if you move all the searches out of a folder, the empty folder will disappear from your list automatically. The last thing we're going to talk about is something we call the recovery key. When you first visited SearchZooka, you may have noticed a recovery key box in the upper right corner of the screen. And when you created your first search, you may have noticed a nine character code in the upper right corner. This code is designed for recovering access to your searches. Most of the time, you won't need to use it, because SearchZooka automatically remembers your searches for you. But if your browser cookies are ever deleted, or if you replace your computer, or if you just want to access your searches from more than one computer, you can use a recovery key to establish your access. Well, that's our introduction to SearchZooka. We hope you find it useful, and we look forward to adding new features that will further simplify your advanced Internet searches. SearchZooka. Never type the same search twice.